the sound test room. Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at the Yamaha DD65 compact electronic drum kit. Okay, so you get a you get the kit thing, and uh, you get a pedal here, and you get a pedal here for your hi hat, which you also put on the floor. Um, also, uh, this is great for you know if you're if you if you're a drummer and you've got like a space, and uh, or even if you're doing a gig in a really small pub, <laughs> it's really handy, um, because it takes up very, very virtually no space at all. Okay, so the drawbacks are it's not a real drum kit; you can't move the pads around and stuff. You can store three of your own custom kits in here. Um, that's me. You can store three of your own custom kits made up of the hundreds and hundreds of sounds you get in here it does have 50 drum kits as well and it's uh it's nice it's nice to play it's it takes a bit of getting used to um uh, because uh of you know you're you're locked into playing it the way the yamaha have set it up obviously but you know for lack of space and, and ease of use and good uh, just good to fun to mess around with it has midi in and out uh you can plug audio in as well um headphone socket output uh, is the same um yeah so that's pretty pretty much it we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna run through uh some of the some of the some of the kits that you get with it you can switch the reverb on and off uh, for a lot of the sounds i prefer the reverb off and i have used this in a couple of my projects notably the pink floyd project thing that i did i played this um i used to be a drummer a long time ago and in, in the 80s or years and years ago and then didn't play for about 20 years from about 2000 and uh, from about 1986 to about uh, 2006 2007 and then I started playing again a bit um but yeah for the for the space this is uh, this is okay so I'm no genius drummer but I can knock a beat out here and there so uh, I'm going to turn the mic out and I'm going to run through the different things otherwise you're going to get sort of clicky sticky thing and I'd rather you just hear the actual the actual drum kit so I'm just going to run through some of the different things uh, one of the other things as well I should say sorry is that you can play it has demos and things that you can play along with and you can set a metronome for you to practice with and it also has this cool thing this is hand percussion you just hit it and it'll take you to a hand percussion preset and it sort of it reduces the impact for the for the sticks sort of thing anyway i'll just turn this up and i'll just play a few bits and pieces with the different kits Sorry, I should just point out that if the drummers are watching this, it may seem a bit weird the way I'm playing this, but I'm I'm actually left-handed, so I'd have to set this up with the custom kits the other way around. But I don't I normally play a right-handed drum kit, but open-handed, so that's why it looks a bit odd.
also as well what you can do is um wait a sec i did there uh, i did have something to say then but now i've completely forgotten what it was it matters not um when i think about it again i'll uh, i'll let i'll let you know Oh yeah, that was it. There's no, you can't mix any of the pads. By the way, there's no sort of mix, so you have to sort of you're just stuck with what they've given you. So sometimes the, the gain on the bass drum can be a bit much, and you can, sorry, I was going to say you can plug ordinary uh, drum and high electronic drum and hi hat pedals in, so you could have a real snare drum uh, pedal. I tried that with one of uh, one of mine, um, and the it was just a little bit too heavy duty on the bass drum. But you know, I find this the the, the 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 pads are okay. I mean, you know, I don't I'm, I don't play drums with anybody anymore. Just my own amusement. So.
So yeah, you gotta load it. <laughs> Silly sounds. Yo! Go! <laughs> Get up! Get up! So some of the ones we uh, didn't look at here. Um, some of these. the price you know is less than I think this was a hundred and maybe 160 170 pounds from Amazon I've seen them less than that on eBay they still sell them so obviously they're still selling I think they're pretty good you know you get a good wide range of sounds like I said you can do the three custom kits and stuff so you know It sounds uh, pretty, pretty cool when you play the demo, which is, uh, uh, you know, using the kits from this. So yeah, there it is, the Yamaha DD65. Pretty good for uh, messing around at home. And uh, like I said, if you're a proper drummer, you know, you're going to make it sound a lot better. Uh, better than this, once you get used to the kind of um, closed sort of pad setup. But it's still still quite, you know, still quite a substantial thing. Just sits on a standard snare stand as well. So, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did like the video, visit the soundtestroom.com. Uh, we, we, Colin and Jacob, will be able to help you out with it. We'll try and help you out with uh, anything we can. Uh, so, you've enjoyed this. Uh, excuse my uh, drumming. <laughs> I'm a keyboard player, really. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>